Now let's go to France, where dozens of girls have been sent home from school for insisting on wearing the abaya, a traditional Islamic dress. The French government announced a ban last month, arguing that wearing the garment broke rules on keeping education secular. The education minister said that nearly 300 pupils arrived at school yesterday wearing the banned garment. Well, we can now go live to Paris and speak to our correspondent there, Hugh Schofield. So Hugh, just bring us up to date on this. Yeah, well, the, the, the rule came in last week, uh, term started yesterday, and the figures have come out today, and they are that on the day one of the, the new term, um, 298 girls, adolescent girls, teenagers, turned up wearing the uh, abaya, um, and of them, 67 could not be persuaded to, to, to wear other clothes. In other words, in all cases, under the Education Ministry's guidelines, there was a period of dialogue that opened up straight away between the staff, and, and the family and the girl, uh, and, in, and, and in many of the, the cases, many of the 298 cases that ended in the girl saying, all right, I will put on other clothes, and she did. Uh, but in 67 cases, it, she didn't and, and went home. Uh, it doesn't mean she's excluded, um, but it does mean that there now has to be another period of dialogue with the families, um, at the end of which the threat does exist that the girl will be excluded permanently from the school. Um, so that's the situation. I think, you know, the government is relatively pleased because in a context of, you know, several million children going back uh, yesterday, um, you know, it, it's, it's not a huge proportion, but of course, um, all these cases are re being reported on and um, all, all of them contain potential embarrassment. And any more reaction then from these families? Um, you know, these girls do want to wear the abaya to school, ultimately. Well, as I say, it's a process of, of, of dialogue that now ensues. Um, with every girl who was sent home, went a letter um, from the Education Ministry explaining the reasons for the fact that abayas are not allowed in schools, saying, in, to quote the, the, the letter, that um, secularism, la laicite, this principle, is a, is a liberty, not a restraint, to try to explain that um, it's so that all children come to school on a footing, a totally equal footing, and that there aren't sort of divisions, identifiers marking out different sections of the, of the of the classroom. That's what is being impressed on, on girls and their families. And certainly in this early stage, there's no attempt, I think, to sort of strong arm them. It really, that the message is from the government that this has to be done in a way that is as consensual as possible. The, the, the possibility remains, of course, that there will be some who refuse and continue to refuse, and the ultimate sanction does does exist that they will be excluded from the school. You Schofield in Paris, thank you very much. Yeah.